Hey guys, it's Isaac in the Lich. Glad to see everybody back again. And guess who's with me? Yay, my long-awaited hiatus has returned. <laughs> so I'm like Berserk, except I won't quit after a few chapters on ya. <laughs> but uh, we're playing Outlast today. I've already played a little bit of this game. Uh, oh, I, I'm looking forward to it just because I want to see how scared he's going to get. Oh, please. Be because there's enough jump scares to make you... <laughs> but, uh, just as a disclaimer, guys, there is intense violence, gore, and I believe supposedly sexual content, according to the disclaimer from the first video. But please be advised, parental guidance is advised... If you are a minor, please go fetch your near, nearest parent and ask if this is okay for you to watch. If not, please go see one of our Five Nights at Freddy videos or one of our Tacky on the Fringe. With that now out of the way, let's start playing. So where exactly are you at? Uh, we are in what is called Mount Massive Asylum. No, I, I, I know that. I mean, I've played the game before, it's just I don't know exactly where you're... Oh, God, you're, you're, you're at the... You've just been thrown out, haven't you? Yeah. Ooh. The, yeah. <laughs> I think you want to turn down the sensitivity there. Yeah, word of the wise, just don't don't constantly use the night vision because you will drain very fast the problem is you gotta have night vision to see in the dark yeah but not all the time like quick burst you can't is good but not holding it for too long because yeah. you don't get a lot of batteries really well you get enough but you don't get too many yeah. Well, the thing is, I uh, tried checking in a earlier attempt at recording. I tried checking down the other two ways. There's not really anywhere to go. Um, except in here, with what looks like uh, three patients watching um, watching air. Apparently, Wait, go 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 look at their faces. Just y y you've got a. Uh... You've got, uh, you know, Jason Voorhees here. Um. Hannibal Lecter. <laughs> and so the guy in the corner over there must be, uh, Michael Myers because he's not showing his face. <laughs> Which is weird. The, the, the only real goodness the camera comes is just for the night vision really unless you there are I think some parts where you actually have to legitimately use it but yeah it looks like uh, it looks like uh, somebody's had a bad day at the office I don't know what gives it away. It's probably that living, you know, that that living person over here in the corner. <laughs> you know, I've never understood. Like those clips, sure, they're somewhat easy to come off, but they really aren't because they're like locked. Yeah. So usually, when you grab stuff off of stuff. It makes it difficult. Yeah. Plus, I like the way that it looks really grainy. Yeah. It looks grainy, but put the camera up, it's perfectly fine. There's a battery. Well, kind of fine. Well, more blurry. At least. See, I'm definitely getting a uh, 
Did you get the battery? No. Alright, you will need the battery. <laughs> Trust me, there there's a part in here much may, later on where you actually have to... You need a lot of batteries because you're gonna get lost. Yeah. But uh, I'm getting lots and lots of uh, alien isolation vibes here. Quite honestly. I mean, this came out before Alien Isolations, technically. Yeah. So, if anything, you know, the only difference is you're not being chased down by Xenomorphs. Instead, it's just crazy inmates who, uh... Wanna murder you. I'm not gonna spoil it, but, like, later on, the, the, there's a point of why they're really doing it. But it, it's it's just not. It's one of those things that make you go, well. So, well then, can't say I didn't see that coming. And there was a guy in a wheelchair, in fact, in a creepy wheelchair in the middle of a hallway. Yeah. Like. Uh, I knew he was supposed to jump up when you leave, but at the same time, it's even crouching he does it, which makes sense because you're already down to the ground, so he knocks you down more easily, which is good attention to detail. Yeah. And since he's a madman, he's got like super strength. Yeah, uh, for some reason, insanity confers, you know, Superman powers. You ever try to hold back a crazy person? It, 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 it's constantly, like, almost to the point of, like, pumping adrenaline into your, into a normal person's body. Except that it can take, like, a lot of people to actually hold that one person down. Welcome to security where you're not secure. Let me just use this uh, computer right here which will immediately putting anything in will make it work. Even though I have no knowledge of any passwords or anything like that. Oh no, blackout. Oh no, the power is out. Please start the <laughs> generator in the back. So, so quick, go to the creepy basement and... And uh... Oh yeah, that's a mechanic also. I think that I think his name is Bubba. I know there's one I think that's called Bubba. I, f I forget. I know it's been a while. No, I think that's the butcher. I think. Whatever his name is, I'm not leaving this locker until he leaves. Could you imagine back back then if they had implemented mics for this? Oh god, we'd be doomed. <laughs> YouTubers beware. Which I think they were actually going to do originally, but they didn't get the chance.
But, uh, yeah. Eventually, you will be running from him. Actually, a, a few times. Mm-hmm. Well, I can imagine. I, I think that was... I think... I, I don't know what his name is. I think it was the Butcher. They call him the Butcher. Something like that. Because I think he actually... He's kind of like a madman chef. Or something to that degree. Yeah. Because he wears... You can clearly see he wears an apron, so... Well... Yeah. Slam the door for the monster insane people to See, find you. In here, right? That won't get me killed at all. That's a big ass folder. Alright, let's go ahead and read this real quick. Last time I read these out loud, but a friend of ours who also does YouTube advised me not to, so... If you want to go ahead and read this with us, pause the video and go right ahead. I'm clearly sitting a little bit too far away to be able to read it. So... I, I, I've played the game before, but... I don't remember a whole lot of it, really. I know very key points. It's still pretty funny. Big folder, two pieces of paper. Yeah. I, I mean, they they could have at least made you know the folder at least close to the size. No, you actually have to go in the. Uh, actually. You ha you have to go through the creepy dark room. Yes. Well, that's not what I was looking at first. I got lost for a second because I didn't realize where I was supposed to go. I think. Oh yeah, yeah. This is a this is a spot you want to watch out for. Oh joy. I like how you have to do a waist high jump, but waist high jumps, especially at a waist high level with objects, is really difficult. Yeah. So, like, this dude must have some legs. Yeah. Right. But, uh,. Yeah, definitely, definitely this game style is, uh, I mean, I realize that this came out before Isolation did, but I definitely recognize the game style from that, because I actually have played Isolation before. Means it, well... What I like about this is just the simple fact that the lighting itself matches it. Mm. 
So I know he's around, but I can't see where. Right there. <laughs> right in front of you. Yeah, and that music means he's a, he knows you. Shit, shit, shit. Shit, where am I supposed to go? Friars. Door. Let me close it, damn it. Honestly, closing doors really doesn't matter because... Why the book? Right there! <laughs> like that! Because that's an open room! Fuck! <laughs> Ow! Ow, asshole! Try getting back to the lockers. That's your safest bet. I can't see where the crap I'm supposed to... Damn it. I'm dead. That's why I was saying about you wanted to preserve your batteries. Well, it's so dark and trying to see just through the night vision is so difficult. Because it's like... It's not so much the preservation of the batteries, it's... I mean, I can't really see where I'm going to a degree. It's like... I mean, you think that this guy, you know, he's been in this place that's pretty dark, dim lit. He had pretty good, at least decent enough eyesight at, by this point. Uh, apparently not. And, uh, apparently his, uh, Night vision is utter crap. <laughs> well, I mean, it's like uh, what I was talking about in uh, part two of the FNAF 2. You know, the, the, the Freddy Fazbear's mask, you know, I, I, I kind of have a hard time understanding how or why that prevents me from using a flashlight. I think you, I think once you hit this, you need to just bail straight immediately to um, the beginning. Or, or you actually have to go through. You really don't want to get caught by this guy. I think that's where he smashed through. It's another battery. It's a switch, at least. I think that's the only switch. Because unlike most games, which holds your hand, this one tells you, hey, you need to find these. Good luck. I'm looking for them, because we're not going to tell you where they are. Which, uh... Does it make a lot of sense just due to the fact that, you know... Didn't he look at the br bl the blueprint? Oh, oh, God, he's right there. Yeah, you're screwed. Because <laughs> he's actually faster than you, too, which is kind of sad. Actually, not sad, but, uh... Ow. See, he gets so quickly behind you that it, it, even if you like try to hide, really, well, you can't hide because of it.
<laughs> Screw you, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna go back there and he's gonna be waiting for me, isn't he? Pretty much. Uh, of course. I, I don't think you have to do anything else to set for those switches. Uh, well, and the pump, I think. Also, yeah, never use uh, night vision in light. You will go blind. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's general night vision in, in use at all, so. I have no idea where he is now. Getting amber alerts or something over there, Lich? What the frang? Yeah, trying to run and I keep hitting control or something. Haha. <laughs> ha! Still didn't get me, you jerk. Yeah, you think how until he comes around and breaks that. Like they purposely made this as, you know, as claustrophobic as, you know, as terrifying as it would be as, you know, one person stuck in this entire area. In the hell of the, uh, insane asylum with no ability to fight. Well, I mean, you could, it's just you have the camera. Which time to go. Yeah, time to get out. And that's what that is. Look at all the lovely blood. Someone decorated this room. Yeah, well. Actually, the blood wasn't there originally, was it? Yes, was it was. It, no? it was. There's, there's just too many details that's done good in here that'll make you question. I know, right? I mean, you can definitely tell, like, yeah, there's some struggle around here where, like, some people are smashed up against the walls, they're bleeding. Because these walls aren't, like, normal, you know, plywood, well, they're plywood and drywall. But you can definitely tell that, uh, they're not just that. They're, uh...
So crazy, crazy religious man won't let us free. Uh, yes, but he's only like a he's only like a grunt. Well, he's essentially the semi pseudo assistant to technically the real villain. To the reason why you don't want to leave. If I remember correctly. And, uh, yeah. It's nice he left you with your camera, but it's also nice that when he stabbed you, he didn't... He didn't pour whatever was in that syringe into you. Because well, when it looked like, it was air. Uh oh. Yay. What? This part. Honestly, right now, don't even waste your night vision, your batteries. Yeah, um. You're about to have some fun. No. <laughs> oh, thanks. Thanks, buddy. Thanks for uh, telling me that. Yeah, hey, no, 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 go back to that room. That, that dude was having a party in there. Um, fuck no! Uh, yeah, as you can tell, like, everyone's just really out of it now, so... Yeah, they, 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 they gone and lost their minds. Eh. Have they ever had them? I mean... What the... I'm gonna have to edit that out. Thanks, Windows. I mean, technically they have their minds, it's just they see the world differently than anything. Yeah, no. Sorry, Lich, they're crazy. <laughs> well, you can't call some. You can't call a crazy person a crazy person because the crazy person thinks they're a sane person. What kind of roundabout circular logic do you have there? One of a crazy person. <laughs> yeah, but also rest in peace there. Mm. Now, uh, you, you... How do I get the heck out of here? Uh, you know that open room down there? Nope, not that downstairs. Oh. Oh. The dark and bodious one. Mm-hmm. Which has nothing. Apparently. It you should be able to go through like a door or something around here. There's something. I don't know. I, I don't remember really. But I mean You can you can definitely open these, you know. Whoa! That poor guy's face. Hey, you le you learn why later. So, uh, why they're so terrifying looking? You mean aside from human experimentation? Oh, it's just not human experimentation.
I mean. Locked in an asylum full of, uh. Your faces have been really, really messed up, man. Yeah, I don't like that they're walking, you know, into the door. That's a one bad thing that's, you know... Like, I'm not seeing... I, I don't know if there's a key or something. I think... I think you definitely have to go, like, downstairs to actually get it. It's, yeah, you also have to think, he's going around for, uh, you know, uh, he's going around with one camera with very little batteries, fighting spare batteries, even though that's kind of not how cameras work. Well, it depends on your camera. Well, this camera eats batteries like it's a, like it's... Like they're Tic Tacs, yeah, I know. I know the art style seems weird when you look at people because they look a little more cartoonish. But it makes sense at least. I don't really see how, but um Honestly, I'm not even sure how we're getting out of here. I know there's... Whoa. Those must be the twins. Yeah. They'll be chasing you around a lot. I mean, the only thing you can try and do is hide, maybe. Other than that, look for a key. Which... Just every door is technically locked. Yeah. Every gate is locked. And you got... And you have, uh... You know... Tweedledee and Tweedledum over there. Garden gate. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. So it's like, how are we supposed to... I think one of the cells has a key. I think at least. I, I, I really don't know. It... <laughs> this game came out how long ago? Uh, at least 2014, so four years ago. Yeah, so it's been like four years since I've seen this. Nothing under the bed. See, honestly, hiding makes no sense because 
They've got excellent eyesight, where you've got shit for eyesight, so... Well, that's just cement. I mean, that that's usually what walls are made out of. Well, for a second there, I thought it was a door. Well, hello there! Are you the hole in the wall we've been looking for? Yes, I am, but you're just too dumb to realize it. Yeah, <laughs> be prepared for that on a constant basis. This is where it gets really fun. Battery. Again, this game is really nice just because it doesn't hold your hand. It tells you to explore and look. Yeah. Like, you're gonna die quite a few times just getting used to everything. Yeah, you're not gonna get across, so... I mean, I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Well, I mean, there's that hallway over there. <laughs> I love that dying keeps moving lower and lower on the worst thing that can happen to me here. Well... Honestly, it's not worth changing your battery immediately if you're like have a third left it'd be better if it just like almost nearly runs up to change the battery yeah yeah I and mean, for a place that they put back in operation it certainly looks decrepit as hell so well I mean Yeah, and now the twins. You like twins? These twins are big, they're muscular, and they don't talk much. <laughs> I bet not. I also bet I don't really want to meet them in person. And they're also ripped as hell, so... They're crazy. Well, everyone in here is ripped as hell, so... Well, almost everyone. Down the drain? Jump down this mysterious hole. You won't die, I promise. Oh, oh, that 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 that, that that's nice to hear. They didn't just experiment, they summoned something. Which means my uh, original analysis of Doctor finds something that Doctor shouldn't mess with was uh, correct then. Lovely. Yeah, I'm more surprised that the wooden door upstairs that we slammed is somehow louder than the giant metal ones. Hmm. Well, this video is about 40 minutes long, guys, so we're going to cut it here. What do you think, Lich? Yeah, I say it's good. We're, we're stuck in a locker, cowering for our lives with insane people around. I <laughs> feel at home already. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to cut it here for now. It's been fun, and we've loved to play with you guys, but it's time for us to get some sleep and get everything taken care of. 
So, uh, see you next time. This has been Isaac and the Lich. Leave the subscription below. Give us a comment and a like if you please. Remember, kids, asylums are fun, but only if it's an art project. <laughs> All right. See you guys.